here we go. The Hierophant, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, this is a general reading, but you're getting, and this is happening for a few of the other signs too that I've already recorded, Gemini. Uh, which one was it? Cancer and Scorpio were very much about relationships. I believe I'm still going to also do um, divine love readings for you for the month of April as well, even though a couple of them are very heavily focused on intimate relationships in the general readings. Um, I really like doing the divine readings. So you have the, the three of swords here. And I just got, it might not be in particular like an intimate romantic love relationship that you're feeling this way. This is the heart, the heart, the card of heartbreak. I feel it has to do more with somebody in your family, maybe two different people in two different situations. Um, that feels like it's stabbing through your heart and there's a sense of mourning, loss, grief, sorrow around these people and you just feel sad for them. It, I don't feel like this is directly like happening to you, but you're witnessing it. And you do have a very tight relationship um, and intimate on, on the level of they could be your family or they could feel like family to you. And I feel like there's work to be done with these particular connections in your world. And I feel like you're having to deal with certain structures, like either a court system or a school system or like a nursing home system, some, some type of system that needs to be gone through in order to deal with what's happening with these people that I'm picking up on in your life coming out of March. So let's pull some clarifiers. The moon in reverse, the knight of pentacles in reverse, and the hermit. So you have three out of six major arcana cards here. It definitely feels like a big time of new information coming to light um, that you need to move forward. However, the information still doesn't feel complete with the moon in reverse. We are in a Mercury retrograde period, Gemini, right now, um, and moving into April. So it could feel like with the moon on the Hierophant, like what am I going to do? You feel like you need to make decisions ultimately, and you, I see you feeling like you know where the road is leading yet it's still unclear. There's still more to do with it and more work to do around it. There could be some sort of lack of funds, like you're having to share your resources with people. And it's not so much unwillingly, but sort of, um, because it's like, I feel like you've already done so much. You've already provided um, these particular individuals in your life with so much support and perhaps even financial support, Gemini, that they're still coming back around um, and having you, it's really spinning you inwards, like this inner process that you are approaching the situation with feels like work to you. You got the Hermit card. Um, last month, I did actually rewatch your video. I, I don't oftentimes do that just for time purposes on my end because I am so busy with so many other things. Um, but Spirit told me I needed to watch your March video and the energy is coming out of March for you. You, you had this internal process going on, the spiritual metamorphosis and the channel messages were that this situation that you're dealing with in your family that was coming back around because it is a karmic situation for you, it's 
sort of the fodder for your spiritual transformation to make sure that you are taking care of you first and coming from a place of light and not lack and spiritual abundance before you allow yourself to help these individuals. Because when you do that, the situation is going to feel so much better to you. And that's what is most important, um, Gemini, is your day-to-day -day experience. I want it to be coming from a place of joy and love instead of fear and lack and frustration. And there, this, this can feel challenging to you coming out of March. So let's see if we can get some illumination, the devil, for the um, April energies. I'm gonna make sure this is recording. It is, okay. So you have the devil, judgment, two more major arcana cards, and the knight of cups. So let's take a look here. You have your angels with you, sort of screaming at you, almost like they want you to look up your angels and guides, spirit, source, God, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, whatever religion you follow, if any at all, um, want to help you. And they're there waiting to answer your prayers. And the message that's coming through is to relax your ego enough and how you think things should be in order for their help to be received. Let me say that again in a different way. So there's a veil between us and the spirit, spirit world. And the veil is our ego. And when we think we know best and we don't employ the help of our light workers, it turns into this situation. Struggle, um, addictions, and it could be with food I'm getting, like you're turning to food for comfort, Gemini that isn't in the most healthful ways um, that aren't serving you, that aren't helping the situation because you're not, there's a sense of just not relying enough on the help that is so willing to come into your life. It's just a matter of relaxing the thinking and coming into your heart. I just got, um, pulled to the rose quartz here. So let's see. Okay, the five of cups in reverse on the devil. The empress, yeah, that's another major arcana card. And the king of swords. So let's start here. So the empress in reverse, what I was saying. I'm getting the sense a little bit that the food you're eating, and I'm not a doctor, I have to disclaim that. This is not medical advice in any way, shape, or form. Um, but I feel like it's contributing to some of your fatigue and your tiredness. And it could be the like amount of carbs that you're eating and there needs to be more fiber. More fiber never hurts. I feel like I can say that without getting in trouble. Um, <clears throat> so the Empress is an energy when she's upright of feeling abundant and secure and full and glorious in her body, beautiful and upside down. I feel like there's a little, there's a sense of like feeling like you, you're doing it on your own. Like she's not supported, like she's hanging upside down. And that I think that's why I was getting the message of food here because there is a whole field of wheat underneath her. So I wonder if wheat could be an issue for you. And I know it is for a lot of people lately, usually from what they spray on it, not the actual wheat itself. Um, so it's like your angels and guides want you to take such good care of yourself in April because I kind of want to talk about both of them at the same time, but I can't. The Knight of Cups and the King of Swords. 
like this energy here, the Knight of Cups offering his emotional abundance to the Knight of Swords. It's like your emotions are going to help you inform how you speak to probably these structures and situations that you're needing to deal with for these individuals in your life that you feel like you have to take care of. I feel like it's really entangled, Gemini. Um, but there is movement in April and there is more information coming to light and there is a sense of sort of sitting on the edge of your seat, like how is this all going to turn out type of feeling and you're stressing yourself out over it. Um, but don't, don't worry yourself sick. Um, take it easy throughout the month of April, Gemini, and really do your best to, to take the best care of yourself that you know how, so that when it feels inevitable that you have to address and show up for these people and maybe represent them in a court system, maybe represent them like to their caretakers if they're um, physically or mentally not well and they're undergoing some intensive care somewhere in a hospital or a nursing home, like I said earlier, um, so that you're not coming from this place of stress. And I, and I do feel like there's movement out of this heartache over it. I feel like it was very prominent for you towards the end of, like, middle of March and end of March. But moving into um, April, as you get into April with the Five of Cups in reverse, I feel like you're understanding that a new dawn is on the horizon. And when you do rely on your inner strength and prayer is huge. And prayer in with other people, not only just relying on your own prayer, but reaching out to the supportive people, individuals, and community groups that you may be a part of or need to be a part of, um, perhaps that you need to hook up into to start supporting yourself in those ways and not totally relying on your old habits and patterns. I feel like your old habits and patterns in April are undergoing a super major transformation. And it could have to do with your own health because of the discomfort that's going on for you personally, Gemini, is forcing you to uh, revamp your diet and nutrition, your exercise patterns. I feel like Tai Chi, oh my gosh. Tai Chi or some sort of really gentle yoga or yoga nidra or yin yoga, not like the fast paced hot type of yoga um, that's very yang, but something yin, a very a more feminine receptive form of exercise is going to be very supportive for you, Gemini, in the month of April in a way that is, is healthy and is going to allow you to take care of yourself, maybe in ways that you have been avoiding or really haven't integrated into, into your daily routine, Gemini. Um, so as much as possible, I want you to attend to you first, put you first, fill your own cup up first so that like, I feel like this is spirit filling your cup. Spirit's giving you this, this full cup of this emotional, joyful, happy way of being in the world, which will then inform how you address things in writing with like the physical word of documents that may have otherwise felt overwhelming to you. Interesting messages. Let's see how far along, 18, wow. Okay, let's move down into the energies moving out of April into May. Ace of Pentacles. Yay, the seven of um, pentacles in reverse. 
and the Page of Cups. Let's pull clarifiers right away. So the Knight of Wands, the Death card, which is transformation, and the Two of Swords. So I feel like they're really undergoing this renewal process. It's good for you, Gemini. Uh, I'm so proud of you. When you when you tackle self love on the level of these these very practical. Um, ways of how you treat your body in a day-to-day -day fashion, I feel like this is going to be the result. You get this renewed sense of hope and vigor in your life coming out of April moving into May. And I feel like the confusion around this situation is going to end. Like she gets to drop these swords when it's upside down and the path sort of all of a sudden opens up having gone through like not knowing what to do how to share your resources how to be of the most effective help um through this process of inner transformation and it's going to affect your outer world it's going to affect your outer relationships and how you deal with the the stresses in your life that are inevitable we all have them, Gemini. You're, you're not alone, for sure, in the human family. You're not the only one dealing with some heartache or um, some food issues or some addiction issues. It's called being human, and this is your path right now. And look what's happening coming out of April into May. Again, I'm getting this renewed sense of vigor. I feel like you're really going to start feeling better once you clean up your diet, drinking drinking more clean, pure water with this Knight of Cups here and this Page of Cups. It's like closer to the source, like maybe even um, spring water and putting some lemon in it if you can tolerate lemon in the morning to hydrate you. I'm getting hydrate, Gemini, hydrate. With this Ace of Pentacles on the Knight of Wands, like he's rip roaring, ready to go. This is an energy of excitement and charging forward in a new direction, in a new, very practical manner. So I feel this possible confusion up here moving into April is, is going to be very much well resolved um, come the end of the month. So that is good news. Wowie, I'm happy for you, Gemini. So you're going to get through it. Take one day at a time. Look into some Tai Chi programs or some gentle yoga programs. Or if you're close by and it's convenient to take some nature walks in a forest, like get, getting yourself outside with um, pure, clean air coursing through your lungs as, as much as you can. But pace yourself. Don't like jump into this huge major exercise program. That that's not what I'm saying. And do consult with your healthcare professionals. Again, I'm not a medical professional in any sort of way, but those messages were definitely coming through strongly for you um, for the month of April. I want to pull you a a crystal healing wisdom healing oracle card by Judy Hall for a quick additional message. I like using the oracle cards at the end because I feel like it solidifies the messages that came through the wisdom of the tarot for everybody. So um, talk to me, Gemini. Let me know what's happening for you in April. I love hearing from you guys. Keep your comments um, responsible. Um, don't use the comment section as a venting place, but um, just be precise and responsible in how you share your story with me and the public. I do read all of the comments, and I respond when I feel like it's appropriate. Okay, this one. 
lapis lazuli. So that's blue. You're getting the color blue for the throat chakra. So um, where was it? This king of swords and how you communicate is going to be informed by your emotions this month. And it's number 13. So let's see what the book says. Heavenly wisdom. Lapis lazuli wards off calamities of all kinds and was one of the most auspicious stones in the ancient worlds. Cool. You are an immortal soul who has profound connection with the heavens. Yes. This judgment card. Utilize your connection with the heavens. Rely on it heavily in the month of April. Your purpose is noble. You yearn for spiritual attunement, but may be hampered by outmoded viewpoints. Yeah, that was coming up. Watch back for March, too, if you're curious about the messages that were coming through on the Hermit card that came up here again. I feel like that's very pertinent information for you, Gemini. Take charge of your life. Looking into the past puts your present experience into perspective. You are a lineage breaker. Make the effort to trace family history for deeper insight. Yeah, it was definitely picking up on this family energy for you, Gemini, that is going to be a heavy focus for you coming out of March and into April. Divination. There is spiritual dis-ease. Work with dreams and journey inward to find deeper insights. Flashes of intuition show the way. Open your heart and third eye. Help comes from on high. <laughs> that message is still being reiterated here. Enlightenment is within your grasp. Enhanced perception shows what operates beneath. Study or research is needed. Yours is the gift of true friendship. Protect yourself. Attuning your divine nature enhances your well-being. So again, those classes in yoga and Tai Chi or the martial arts, attuning your divine nation, nature, um, I forgot, I just forgot what it said, helps, let me see, Did it, enhances your well-being. So your well-being is front and center for the month of April, Gemini. Take good care of yourself. Get the help that you need. You deserve it. You deserve to feel good and be well and reside in a state of your highest consciousness possible. Your guides and angels, God's spirit wants that for you. And it's happening. This situation is leading you down that path. Um, like I said, it's, it's fodder for your spiritual growth. 